So in order to spend us out of the Great Depression, FDR does create dozens upon dozens of government agencies with the idea of these agencies are going to hire people that are currently out of work. One of these government programs is called the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps. This is designed to help young men between the ages of about 18 to 25 give them employment building various things throughout the nation. They're going to build uh, trails and national parks. They're going to cut down old forests. They're going to build canals. This is kind of physical manual labor just to give them a job. There's also the AAA, the Agricultural Adjustment Act. This is government money to pay farmers to not produce anything. Now you have to kind of keep in mind from what we talked about in previous classes, farmers had gotten into some strange economic issues by producing too much. They had driven their prices down by too much production, and also they'd exhausted the land. So the federal government steps in and says, we will pay you money to not produce anything. This will drive prices back up for the farmers, and also it gives time for the land to regenerate those nutrients that we had talked about. This is also an attempt to solve the Dust Bowl problem that exists in the Midwestern states. Now also there's the TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority. This is a government program designed to build hydroelectric dams in the southern states to bring about electricity to southern states that previously had not had it. Now again, all of these are designed to bring about government funded jobs, but if you're going to have all these government funded jobs, you got to pay for it. These government funded jobs are going to be paid for by the government borrowing money in promising to pay it back later on. This sends the government into enormous deficit spending where they borrow millions upon millions upon billions of dollars to pay for all of these government programs with the promise that we'll pay it back later. Now, spending that much money does put the government into a bit of a hole, economically speaking. But what FDR says is, we're going to do this now so that we can get the economy going again, and then we'll pay the debt back later. Now, if you start saying to the American public who's suffering from the Great Depression, we're going to voluntarily go into more debt and pay it back later, you better be able to sell this idea to them. FDR, a longtime politician, was very good at selling these ideas, but he's going to be coupled with something else, that during this time period, a new technology is starting to make its way into the American public's homes, a mass communication tool that FDR is going to use to his advantage. The radio comes into the American home, where now you can contact the American public and speak directly to them via the radio. Before this, 99% of the American public didn't even know what the president's voice sounded like. If you were going to listen to the president, you had to physically be near him to hear his voice. Now the radio allows the president to talk to the American people whenever he wants. So every week, every month, whenever he would choose, FDR would hold what he called his fireside chats where he would get on the radio and very calmly and very confidently explain to the American public what the idea of the New Deal was going to do, what it was attempting to do, this idea of we will spend ourselves out of the Great Depression. We're going to have all these government-funded jobs, borrowed money paying for it, and then eventually we'll pay the money back once we do get out of the Great Depression. Now again, FDR, the longtime politician, believes that he can sell this idea to the American public via the radio. Now he's not wrong. In fact, he's very much correct. These fireside chats are what's going to be his avenue to talk to the American public.